guys i know 2020 has been really hectic imekuwa ina matatizo mengi a lot of people have lost their jobs some of them are unemployed wengine wamepoteza biashara zao ambazo ndio walikuwa wanazitegemea even some other countries are still on lockdown so in this era we need something that we can keep our minds off all of this pandemic thing and off all of the hurdles all of the problems that we have faced throughout this year i bring to you greenland Greenland is a disaster movie that comes in its own fashion and style. Greenland imeaktiwa na watu wa muhimu sana katika tasnia ya movie. Kuna mtu kama Gerard Butler. Kwa wale mnaomfahamu Gerard Butler, ameacti movie kama Olympus Has Fallen. Okay? Kwenye hii movie Gerard Butler anatumia jina ambalo ni John John Garriti alafu mke wake kwenye hii movie anaitwa Alison Garriti ambaye kwa jina lake ni Morena Bakarel alafu wana mtoto mmoja mdogo I think by the age of 5 or 8 kwa jina lake kwenye movie anaitwa Nathan Garriti lakini jina lake la ukweli ni Roger Dale Floyd um, kazi ya Gerard Butler kabla sijaendelea kuwaelezea wengine ambao bado sijawataja kazi yake kubwa katika hii movie ni kuensure kwamba familia yake inakuwa safe anawapeleka into a safe haven sehemu ambayo yuko salama this movie ni a disaster movie inaelezea vipi ambavyo mtu anaweza kuilinda familia yake when the world is about to be extinct when everything in the world is about to be wiped out ilitokea meteorite kulikuwa kuna meteorite ambao USA wanaita the clock it's one of the biggest meteorite ambao wao walikuwa wana trace lakini wakaja wakagundua kwamba kwa kufanya uchunguzi wao kupitia satellites zao wakajua kwamba kuna fragments zilikuwa zimetoka kwenye hii meteorite kubwa kwa hiyo zilikuwa zinakuja straight to earth ya waliona tu fragment moja mara ya kwanza wakajua maybe that's it so wakatuma jets ili ziende zikahendo tatizo zima lakini uzuri ni kwamba hii meteorite ilienda ikaangukia baharini kwa hiyo haikuwa na matatizo sana it didn't harm anyone but guess what they were wrong kwa sababu ilipoanguka haikutoa sauti yoyote na ndio maana huyu Gerard Butler alishangaa lakini alivyoenda nje akaona ndege wanapaa wanaenda in an opposite direction baadaye anaona kivumbi yani kana kwamba bomu limetoka kulipuka huko alafu kivumbi kinakuja kikubwa kweli kikamzoa na yeye akaanguka kurudi ndani ndio anaona sasa habari kwamba Los Angeles is leveled yani yote imeharibiwa Alafu ubaya ni kwamba hii fragment inashuka na moto. Kwa hiyo ikishuka sehemu inalipua kote. Kama ni mji inaharibu mji mzima. Tuseme kwa mfano labda ishuke hapa Dar es Salaam. Yaani mji mzima hamna kitu kinachosalia. So ndo hivyo. Kwa hiyo hasa baada ya hapo kwenye news ndo akaendelea sasa kuonyesha kwamba fragments zingine zinaendelea kuongezeka nyingi yani fragments nyingi zinaendelea kuongezeka zinaendelea sasa kuanguka sasa sio kwenye ocean tena bali ni kwenye sehemu ambapo kuna land nchi zinaanguka kwenye cities za watu watu wakaanza sasa kukimbia hasa kwenye zile purukushani za kukimbia kimbia military ikatangaza kwamba kuna safe haven na government wakatoa msaada kwamba military iwasaidie watu waingie kwenye ndege hizi cargo cargo planes hizo ambazo zinabebaga mizigo waingie iwasafirishe iwapeleke kwenye safe haven hasa kwenye hiyo huo mchakato mzima wa ku survive ndio ikawa tena shida kwa sababu kuna watu even when kwenye kipindi cha disaster bado kuna watu ambao wako selfish wa binafsi wanajiangalia wao kwa hiyo they wanted the planes for themselves na seize the moment kwa hiyo wali, walianza kuwana wana kwa hiyo tena huyu baba ambaye sasa ndio John Garrett ambaye ndio Gerard Butler 
akaanza kuingia tena akawa na mission kwanza tena ku protect family yake okay so he was protecting his family from other people and he was protecting his family from the world that was about to get extinct so at a certain point his family went missing so he went to his grandfather ambaye kwenye hii movie anaitwa Dale lakini jina lake ni Scott Glenn ambaye huyu ndo alimsaidia sasa akamwambia he gave his grandfather sorry he gave his father a promise ambaye huyu ndo baba yake Scott Glenn ndo jina lake lakini kwenye movie anaitwa Dale alimpa promise baba yake kwamba I will go look for my son and, for my son and wife and I'm going to take them to that banker. A banker ni sehemu ambayo um, labda kukitokea vita au maafa au labda kukiwa labda kuna nuclear explosion watu huwa wanaingiaga kwenye maandaki. A banker ni kama andaki ambalo liko safe kuwalinda watu from anything that is happening outside. Kuwalinda watu dhidi ya maafa. Kwa hiyo sasa ndo alimpa hivyo nani alimpa promise hiyo baba yake akaenda akachukua gari na when he just left meteorite ilianguka kwa hiyo hopefully mastian baba yake alikufa kwa sababu alimwacha kipindi yeye ameondoka kwa hiyo meteorite sasa zikawa zinaanguka sasa kila sehemu movie inapoendelea kwenda mwishoni sasa ndo things zinaanza kuwa more intense meteorite zinaanza kuanguka often yani kila sehemu ukipita meteorite zinaanguka kipita huku ndege zinaanguka kwa sababu yani zinakutana na meteorite huko huko juu kwa hiyo zile fragments zinaangusha ndege zinaanguka popote hasa kuna sehemu tena people were people were on a queue walikuwa wamepanga foleni kama kwenye magari magari yalikuwa hayaendi hasa ghafla fragments zile zikaanza kuanguka kwa hiyo sasa yule baba amekana familia yake huko ni mwanzo mwanzo ndio walikuwa wanataka waondoke yani wanakaribia mpakani wa huo mji ili waondoke fragments zikaanza kuanguka kwa hiyo akaanza sasa kulazimika sasa kutoka pale ili aondoke kwa hiyo hawajafika hata mbali meteorite zikawa zinaanguka so they had to get off from the car waanze kukimbia kwa miguu waanze kutafuta njia mbada all in all hii inaonyesha ni vipi a man has to be a man when the world is about to end kwa sababu jamaa kwenye hii movie ameplay a very important part ameicheza movie vizuri sana ameonyesha ni jinsi kiasi gani familia ni very important to a man vile ambavyo anaweza ku risk kila kitu kusaidia familia yake ku make sure kwamba watoto na mke family in general anavyoweza kuilinda at all cost from other people kwa sababu kukitokea shida ndo unaona sasa pia watu walivyo people turn to seize the moment unaweza labda kuona una labda gari lako ndo nalo litumia ku survive lakini unakutana na watu ambao wa, yani wao wanataka tu gari lako yani. so yeah inatokea tena vita so you have to keep your family safe na vitu kama hivyo so hii ndicho ambacho Gerard Butler amejaribu ku portray katika hii movie na hii movie imeandikwa by an author by an author na director ambaye anaitwa Rick Roman Wolf Okay. Alafu producer kuna Gerard Butler mwenyewe, alafu kuna Basil Lu, Lu, Basil Luanaik, alafu kuna Sebastian Raybould, kuna Alan Sijo, alafu mwandishi sasa ndo Chris Spalding. Aliandika hii script nzima hii story ya Chris Spalding. Ila hawa wengine hawa wakina Gerard Butler na kina Alison wenye ndo aliocheza sasa hii movie lakini pia baadaye tunakutana kuna kapo a family kapo kuna mmoja anaitwa David Denman na Hope Davis ambao kwenye movie wanaitwa Ralph Vento na Judy Vento hawa ni tunawaona huko mbele kwenye hii familia ambayo yani this is a couple which met with this family 
ambao later on tunakuja kuona hawa waliwaletea tu shida baadaye. Yaani kuna watu wengine ambao wameonyeshwa tu kwa, kwa muda mfupi sana kwenye movie. Lakini kwa lengo la yani la kuleta tu more problems to this family kwa yani just to add icing to the sugar. <laughs> yeah, icing to the cake.